Very surprising news this morning. Baltimore County Executive and gubernatorial candidate Kevin Kamenetz has passed away. He died suddenly in the uh, early morning hours, taken to St. Joseph after he woke up in his Owing Mills home and complaining that he didn't feel well and died about an hour later. He was uh, pronounced dead by doctors just before 3.30 this morning. Now, Kamenitz um, just yesterday was at Bowie State University for a forum to talk about his platform for governor. And he's had a long history here in Maryland in politics, the assistant state's attorney for Baltimore in the 1980s, a member of the Baltimore County Council from 94 to 2010. In 2010, he became the county executive and then announced his uh, can he was running for governor. You see him right here in this video with um, his wife and his two sons. So our condolences go out to them this morning. Um, he has certainly been a familiar face around our newsroom, which I think is uh, why some of this is so startling to many of us and also to others, even his opponents. Governor Larry Hogan weighing in on Twitter this morning saying the First Lady and I are shocked and grieved by the sudden passing of Baltimore County Executive Kevin Kamenetz. Our prayers go out to his family and many loved ones this morning. Rashern Baker also weighing in. Um, he's running for governor. He said um, this this morning, the prayers of Prince George's County, Maryland are with our neighbors in Baltimore County and the family and friends of County Executive Kevin Kamenetz. Sad, shocking news. Barry Glassman up in Harford County also weighing in. My prayers go out to the family of the County Executive Kevin Kamenetz and the people of Baltimore County. Now, um, we will get more information as the morning moves along. At 11 o'clock this morning, there is a press briefing scheduled, so we'll get more details then. In the meantime, uh, we are starting to see flags at half staff, so uh, certainly a lot of people reacting to this news this morning. Back to you. Thanks very much, Meg. Right now joining us on the phone is Julian Jones, current member of the Baltimore County Council. Mr. Jones, thank you so much for joining us this morning. This was an absolute shock to us here at WBAL, I'm sure for you as well. Oh yes, it's, it is without a doubt a tremendous tragedy. And I'm very, very saddened by the news and my hearts and prayers goes out to the family. Um, it is times like this that, you know, it just reminds of how important life is and how important our relationships with our family. Uh, we extend so much time in terms of uh, public service, uh, but at the end of the day, uh, it's times like this that just you're very, very sad and it humbles all of us. Sure, and what a, what a busy time right now. I mean, as you look on Twitter, everyone's saying, we just saw him so many events as he goes through his run for governor, and it, he, he met a lot of people over the last few years. Oh, absolutely. I mean, he's been uh, involved in leading Baltimore County in one way or another for the last 20 plus years. And uh, I'm guess you know I'm so sad to hear the news, and I guess can't help but think about his family at this moment. It's uh, very sad. Uh, Julian, I'm sure you've known him for a long time. Can you tell us uh, what kind of guy he was? Uh, you know, uh, I think Kevin was an excellent county executive, and uh, he had a great sense of humor, believe it or not, and. Uh, and, uh, you know, he and I was just communicating yesterday evening. Uh, you know, one of the things he, he and I would do, uh, especially as he's running for governor, as he traveled the state, when he come across somebody who knows me or communicate with, communicate to him that they know me, they, he would always send a, a selfie with him <laughs> and the person. Mm -hmm. And then I would try to figure out where he is. <laughs> and uh, so yesterday I had the opportunity to return the favor when I met one of his cousins. And uh, I, I sent it to him, and you know it was, you know, we just went on communicated from there. Sure. Unfortunately, uh, we have to talk about the business of the government. Talk to us about the next steps as far as uh, what takes place now, at least for governing. Well, what I can say is, uh, according to the county charter, the chief administrative officer will be in an active capacity, and anything after that, we will. You know, discuss it in the upcoming days. I just think it's premature now to uh, even discuss anything else. Mm -hmm. Sure. How was his family? Have you had an opportunity to talk to any of his family members this morning? I have not, and uh, you know, I guess that's the, the the crazy part that you know my heart goes out to them, and I'm heartbroken, and I can only imagine how they feel at this moment, and. Uh, 
you know, it's one of them things, you know, you you want to extend your condolences and let them know you're thinking about them. But at the same time, I'm sure there's plenty of family members that are mm-hmm. making those calls today. Sure. And so you feel a little inappropriate to even call other right. than. And you, so. you know how the Baltimore community is. Everybody knows somebody. So the, the Gilman community morning today, Lockern out there in Owings Mills as well. Um, just so many people touched. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, like I said, it's, it's a tragedy. I mean, it's just it's just a tragedy. And, uh, you know, you guys think about everything and uh, it puts it in a, in a perspective for you. It makes you really... You know, you everybody listening should really hug their family and their loved ones and just think that nobody knows when the time and place you're going to leave this earth. That um, is absolutely true. And when you think about it, the video we just saw of him yesterday, and what, I mean, he's vibrant, energetic. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just, it's hard to wrap your mind around sure. this morning. Council yeah. uh, Chair uh, Julian Jones, thank you for joining thank us this you. morning. We appreciate it. Uh, Also on the phone this morning here in Baltimore City, uh, I think we're working on getting uh, Mayor Catherine Pugh is going to join us uh, briefly. But here's what we know so far. We heard that the county executive, Kevin Kamenetz, woke up this morning about 2 a.m. feeling ill in his Owings Mills home. A 911 call was made and then he was taken to the hospital. He went to um, St. Joseph Medical Center where I believe he was pronounced dead about Mm -hmm. 3.30 this morning and just 60 years old. Sure. As we know, running for governor, he was county executive. He has a young family. Mm -hmm. Um, It's just shocking Uh, news this morning. And we're hearing from uh, Governor Hogan with his condolences. We're hearing from um, all matters of of, um, leadership across Maryland. And I'll I'll read you that message from the governor. It's from Governor Hogan about 41 minutes ago on Twitter saying, the first lady and I are shocked and grieved by the sudden passing of Baltimore County Executive Kevin Kamenetz. Our prayers go out to his family and many loved ones uh, this morning. And at 11 o'clock, we're going to hear more. Uh, There'll be a press briefing then. But right now, we're going to go to the phone again. And Mayor Catherine Pugh, Baltimore City, what are your thoughts this morning, Mayor Pugh? I came in from a run this morning and got the shocking news just totally shocked. Uh, you know, Kevin Kamenetz has been in politics as a part of Maryland politics was for decades, but a good friend of Baltimore City. Nothing to see Kevin Kamenetz in a local restaurant, him and his wife and family. Uh, very big financial supporters of Baltimore County uh, to Baltimore City, and uh, just I'm thinking of Jill and the family, and, you know, my prayers and sympathy are with all of his friends and the Baltimore County community. Just very shocking. Yeah, we're Very watch, shocking. watching campaign video of him now. I think his energy kind of defined him. He was all over the place. He saw the smile, and you, I mean, you <laughs> I know, you looked up, him. and there he was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were at the uh, the Heroes celebration at Delaney Valley just last week uh, together with the governor uh, to celebrate our fallen heroes, uh, first uh, responders, and so just very shocking, very shocking, and again. Condolences, prayers with Jill and the family and, and all the friends and constituents of Baltimore County. Our Baltimore City mourns with you. You've worked side by side with him for years. What was he mm-hmm. like kind of when the cameras were off? Uh, tell us about what kind of guy he was. Good humor, <laughs> a good mm-hmm. sense of humor. Uh, always concerned about uh, others. Uh, uh, just always uh, willing to, to work with others. Uh, we. We were part of MACO together, Municipal League. Uh, He's been a leader in those organizations as well. Uh, But just a a great heart, a great heart. And it's very- a family person, very family oriented. You're in a very interesting situation with the Baltimore City and Baltimore County having to work so closely Mm -hmm. together. Uh, And it seems Mm -hmm. like that's a relationship that really grew, huh? Well, I can tell you with all of my county executives, including uh, Kevin, you know, we're not separated by water and bridges, uh, Baltimore County, uh, Anne Arundel County, Hartford County. We're separated by imaginary lines in, in the street. And so uh, we all work together and working with candidates on behalf of the city of Baltimore and Baltimore County has, has been very great. All right, Mayor Catherine Pugh, thank you so much for joining us on the phone yeah, this morning. Thank you. And again, to the family, our condolences and prayers.